And tonight we're following up on a shooting from earlier this week that killed a pregnant woman and injured two children. Someone fired those shots inside an apartment on 9th Avenue West. And Birmingham police tell us they believe this was a domestic incident. Now local advocates are pushing for more accountability and mental health services. That's right, and new at 10 WBRC's Oliviana Calmez is on your side with how you can help fight domestic abuse and more on safety res resources. Well, that's right, Steve Lauren. One Place Family Justice Center in Birmingham tells me domestic violence permeates in more than just the home. It affects the whole community. They say you need to know your options if you were a loved one or experiencing it because it can escalate to sometimes fatal outcomes. It is something that we get called from every day. One Place Family Justice Center has conversations daily with victims who need help and are brave enough to pick up the phone. The most time when a person um, is calling, they are ready to make an appointment. Mars says it can start with a need for control or power. Maybe they are restricting their bank accounts. It can lead to fatalities, so they ask questions to gauge how bad the situation has gotten. Like, is a firearm in the home? Has he or she ever threatened you with a firearm? Most time when a firearm is in the home, it does raise the risk of homicide to 500%. And they educate them on how dangerous repeat offenses are. It, the, the stats say that it takes on average seven to nine times. Community advocate Eric Hall says domestic violence is a symptom of underlying issues in a community, saying it creates an atmosphere of community violence like we saw on Tuesday with the 24-year-old mother shot to death. It's definitely taking a hit um, for such an extreme situation. Um, it's a very traumatic situation, um, and the community have to begin to rally around um, these type of violent behaviors. After what happened on Tuesday, he says we need to do a better job of paying attention. If we identify that there is something going on, then as a community member, um, we should sh be available for each other. One place says they can connect you to whatever organization or resources in the area can best help. We understand here at One Place that it is hard, but we are willing to walk that road with you. We know that it is, um, it is a long road sometimes. They provide help with legal assistance, court advocacy, counseling, and more. And they do say transportation is available if needed. Birmingham police are still trying to figure out exactly what led up to that Tuesday night shooting. Liviana Kelmy's WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.